in a time of political and financial uncertainty here in America, where our leaders stress the need for shared sacrifice, the one ongoing trend that never goes out of style is our over-dependence on rich people. We as Americans are generally skeptical already of how our domestic policy is being influenced, from the lobbyists and the corporations to China, but when the going gets tough, the tough always turns to the rich, almost every single time. It doesn't matter which party is calling the shots, I and mean, the GOP always wants to lower the taxes for the wealthy on the theory that by having more money in their pockets, they can stimulate the economy, but they can never figure out how to get that to work. And the Democrats always want to increase taxes on the rich so they can stimulate the economy themselves, but they haven't been able to make it work. I mean, both parties have had their chances in the last three years, but the result's the same. The economy's on the edge of disaster. The ongoing bickering in Washington has created an atmosphere in America where it's every man for himself. Instead of encouraging Americans to come together and put in real time and effort into improving their own communities and encouraging self-reliance and financial independence, we look for the cheapest solution available. And when that doesn't work, well, we always play the blame game or worse, we always allow someone to hop on their high horse and grandstand, we let them say what only what we want to hear, and be, they become a hero in the process without any real effort or scrutiny, which leads us to the topic of one Mr. Warren Buffett. Now, Mr. Buffett is a super rich billionaire investor, reportedly worth about $50 billion, and he says he wants to be taxed more. In his New York Times op-ed, he says he and his other mega-rich colleagues are coddled. They're coddled. And they should pay a higher share, a higher percentage of their income to help relieve this bloated U.S. debt. Now, there are two major problems with this line of thinking. And the first one and the most obvious one is, why does he, need he just give the money himself? You know, you don't, you just don't say something like that unless you're not doing it. You know, why not just voluntary, voluntarily write a check on your own to the government as proof of your commitment to pay more taxes, as proof of your commitment to help relieve the U.S. debt. In fact, he says he's paid about seven million in taxes last year. Seven million out of fifty billion dollars in total wealth. So why, is the, why does he not share off, why does he not sell off more of his shares and pay more taxes that way? I mean, hell, why, why, ask, why even ask to be taxed more when you can, you can just take matters into your own hands? Instead of devoting half of your wealth towards future endowments like he has, he can, t he can take that wealth now. We can put that money to work right now and put it towards various charities and other government programs and give Americans the much needed help that he thinks they deserve. Again, he's reportedly worth $50 billion, but he can't decide on his own whether uh, how much he, he, can, he, he can afford to give up. Yeah, that's, that's logical. It's 100% logical and not, not at all flawed in any way. And number two, the most dis and the disturbing of the two is you know, this, to me, is very thinly veiled, very subtle form of bragging. You know, it, it is a way for him to enter the public discussion through his wealth and show it off publicly. Look at, look at me. I'm Warren Buffett. I'm an investor. I'm super rich. I make money with money. I, I want, I'm super rich. I want you to tax me more. In fact, I dare you to tax me more. I mean, again, he can't decide on his own how much he wants to give up, but he's going to put that decision in someone someone else's hands. Uh, you, don't play, you, you don't play games with your wealth like this unless you know you have a lot to, to gain and very little to lose. So the end result is lots of publicity, lots, lots of publicity, lots of controversy, lots of, t of attention for yourself with no real consequence without having to do anything else other than open your mouth. So the bottom line is, you know, we get enough useless noise in DC as it is without any real solutions in the process to all our problems. And this is pretty much the last thing we need. So I mean 
someone like Warren Buffett, you, someone like him wants to help out the little guy, step up, step up to the plate and put your money where your mouth is, or you're just being an arrogant, obscene, pub grubbing, pretentious billionaire. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.